Tonight, this young woman gets some national TV exposure. She'll be competing in the Broken Skull Challenge. It's an athletic competition show that airs on CMT, and it isn't any ordinary competition as you're about to find out. Brooke Van Paris from Greenwood on tonight's show. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I want to know why you would want to do this competition and what is it? Um, well, I represent the United States in the sport of obstacle course racing, and I also am a nationally qualified bodybuilder. So when you think about Broken Skull Challenge, it's kind of twofold. You have a lot of strength step, but you're also like wrestling women, and in the last end, you do an obstacle course that's a half mile. So it's kind of assinuating, you know, accentuating both of my skills. Um, so Broken Skull Challenge is really neat. It's hosted by Steve Austin. Essentially, it's um, single elimination bracket style challenges. So there's eight women. Mm -hmm. First round's four matchups. Second round's two matchups. Last one, you go head to head and wrestle somebody in the pit. The person from that goes on to take on the Skull Buster. It's a half mile obstacle course. Um, it's completely brutal. It's meant to be very physically taxing. And um, you're supposed to beat the person's record uh, from the female episode from the time before in order to win the $10,000. Yeah. Do we find out tonight if you make that elimination cut? Yes, you'll find out tonight oh, at 10 o'clock. So yeah. for you. <laughs> All right, now your life has come with a couple challenges along the way. You're in a pretty bad car accident. Both your hands were shattered. How did you get through? that to be this competitive afterwards so actually we're coming up on the eight-year reunion of it so October 29th 2009 I shattered both of my hands and ended up legally handicapped for the next two years um, I was in college down at Indiana University at the time I couldn't feed myself or bathe myself any of the simplest tasks but um, with the help of my parents I made it through school um, being a full-time student for four and a half years um, so I graduated on time um, but what really like got me back into being athletic, for about two years I kind of dwelled on, you know, this is my mm -hmm. life, this is my body, and this is what I'm going to live in for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to go to a gym. I was humiliated to be in front of, you know, the opposite sex. And um, I had no guidance. I didn't know what to do with dumbbells. But I had a coworker um, in 2014 introduce me into an obstacle course race. I went and I did it. It was three miles. It was very humbling. Yes. I was huffing and puffing <laughs> the whole way through it, but I loved the feeling. Uh, no one judged me. People were helping me over the obstacles. Mm -hmm. People were at different levels of fitness as well. And at the same or at the finish line, we all wore the same medal. So in the next nine months, I did 48 races, dropped 40 pounds, and I represented the United States. 